Hi everybody, welcome to the doctor's office again. This is Dr. Teddy and this today and today's patient is the Cars franchise. Now this franchise I particularly enjoy is Pixar. It's uh, the first movie really did well. The second movie did not do as well as I wanted to. It actually disappointed me and with the third one coming out, I feel like I have to help this franchise in a direction that it could be and it should be. So first of all, we got to diagnose this franchise as it is, and it is sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is when you choke during your sleep that causes many physiolo physiological symptoms. And these symptoms are, first one, loud snoring. So snoring, you know, it's a normal thing, everybody accepts it. It's kind of cute sometimes when you hear your partner snoring when you're sleeping. But then there's a point where the volume gets so loud that you can't enjoy anything in life. And that snoring is Mr. Mater himself. In the first movie, he was cool, he was funny, he had that one-liner or two that made you laugh. He's country, wholesome, you enjoyed him. But in the second movie, he was about 58% of the entire movie, and you were just like, this guy does not need to be on screen this much. Like, his jokes were kind of forced, and his, like, clumsy, uh, happenstance humor was kind of, like, almost hair-pulling. And I feel like this guy was, like, totally derailing the whole movie that I thought I was expecting. It was like, this became like the main focus of the movie and I came here for like, honestly, like Lightning McQueen or more, 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 like, more likely the race itself. Another thing is memory loss. I feel like this movie franchise kind of forgot like where it came from or what it was kind of like the main attractions to this movie and it was the race itself. They really built up the Daytona for McQueen and he had to learn different things, how to be a better racer. It's kind of give that rocket feel like we, we fell guys but we got to come back full strength and that competition and they go to the second movie where they did have that amazing race. You had multiple uh, nationalities of cars that was really cool but it really felt like it was a back seat where like you kind of focus on the on the subplot of a disastrous like um, um, like maniacal villain plot than the actual racing and I kind of like was expecting a better focus on the racing because you had like such an open open case you had to go to different countries the tracks had no like so-called barrier you can make it like twists, turns, ups, down Michael McQueen kind of learned like new skills how to drive in like mountain size snow like it could have been like a really great racing movie but unfortunately it's not where it went and the choking of this movie was the plot that was made her being a super spy for the British intelligence. Like, I don't know what you guys uh, thought, but I thought it was a slap to the face for two, 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 two things. First of all, spy movies. Like, the, the fact that this guy was going to be the underground super spy that this movie needed was kind of like, why is this even happening? And the fact that like the only thing that was really happening was him being in the way of everything and just kind of like going through the, the by accident, everything, like fixing everything was kind of like, why? Why is this happening? And the other thing, it really did, like, like there's this great big race that you could be looking forward to, and this is what we have to say through, like, it really did choke the, the, the life out of this franchise. So the treatment, and this does need treatment, because with Cars Land being a thing, you know this franchise is not going anywhere for a while. So we really do need to refocus, Gla um, happily saying that Cars 3 looks like it's really refocusing on the on the racing again. Looks like we're back to the circle track of NASCAR and it's it's really gonna like kinda bring it back to the home where like the first one was so successful that you could like kinda bank on it like all oh, right we're going back home this might be a really good thing for us. Another thing keep and build the, uh, from the foundation. I kinda like the dynamics of everybody like the way he met the the people from Radiator Springs, like the the characters and their family essence and the way they taught him, was kind of like was something that I look forward to seeing into the uh, to the next movie. Like especially with uh, Doc being his uh, his manager and teaching him like like how to race better, how to be like a better uh, better driver, better person, and like the lack of that in the second movie was kind of like ah you kind of like built this family for me like and they're not even like really there. It's just like it's like ugh it bugged me. Plus you get Luigi back and he was phenomenal as a pit star and it looks like in the third movie they're going back to that. You get to introduce more new characters that should only enhance the movie instead of like cutting off what you already have and try to make something new. So that's my diagnosis for Cars franchise. If you see if I miss anything let me know down below. If uh, I misdiagnose it let, uh, let me know. I'm always, I'm always waiting. Willing to have consultations with other doctors. I will see you on the next video and have a great day.